creating an encirclement. Why they're so beneficial? Hint, it's the easiest way to kill large numbers of enemy divisions without losing anything yourself. Welcome to this Hearts of Iron 4 tutorial. Somebody asking why do I always choose Germany? Two reasons. Number one, they're the best country to get started with if you're new to the game. And number two, they're the quickest country to get into an offensive battle if you choose 1939 without having to play through the whole game. Okay, so when it comes to an encirclement, I want you to think of two different types of divisions in this i realize there are many more but just think of two types of divisions and that is your armored and your infantry which will be your soldiers yeah your men i want you in your mind's eye to view it as either a spear or as a net and the tanks are going to be the spear the soldiers or the infantry is going to be the net and what i want you to sort of try and imagine if we were for example um, go and this is what we're going to try and do encircle this little area here because it's there's naturally uh, the enemies sort of bulging out a little bit we want to stick a spear if we can through this way and then perhaps another spear up here from uh, south towards the north that way uh, so if we can stick a spear there and then use our soldiers as, as, as a bit of a net that will hopefully create the encirclement at least that's the plan where possible you do not want to use your soldiers to try and attack an enemy position unless you have overwhelming forces because if you are literally advancing with your soldiers you're going to take a lot of losses in such a thing your soldiers are sort of there to hold the line create the net if you will and your armored divisions are really there to really do the heavy lifting motorized somewhere between the two that you know they're very much 50 or one and a half a dozen of the other with the main benefit of being fast movers so they can uh, plug gaps pretty quick all right so there's going to be a little pause in in this because that is how it's done when you are microing for an encirclement i've set by the way my field marshals as such so i've set them all on low aggression and that's filtered down to the armies beneath because i don't really want these guys to push we know even though on regular difficulty with the 39 start we can roll over poland no bother whatsoever with zero micro but that would defeat the purposes of this tutorial and so with all that let's make a start then with we see we've got two panzer divisions down here italy's here as well i'm just going to ignore those we've got another panzer division over here what i'm going to do is just manually with this panzer division selected i'm just going to bring it over to where i want in fact we've got another one over here that i'm going to use as well and so my plan is in fact i'll tell you what let's bring them to this tile here my plan from this tile here that we see it's a bit hilly is to then push north why this particular one because i want to cut off the polish railway line because of course they use them for supply go across there and then once we capture this city that's going to really help us with our own supply issues as well and so with the game still paused we've got these tanks moving there or rather they will move as soon as we unpause we've got these two divisions here now notice we've got two tiles here that connect with this one. That's going to give us a little bit of bonus to our combat width. I do have a tutorial dedicated entirely on combat width if you're curious about that. But suffice to say, with these two tank divisions selected, they're already there for our tile. And so I think what I'm going to do is already pre-plan the attack. So with these two selected, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to right click where I want the attack to be. So again move there attack here now why can't it enter because we haven't yet uh, declared war so let's go ahead uh, do that now just cutting in in post to say should go without saying you cannot break through and encircle a country without even declaring war on them note to self we'll declare the war uh, just so i can plan this again we are still paused and so right click i'm gonna go north like this We've got the enemy divisions here. Oh, sorry, the, our other tank divisions here that are going to go into the enemy province via this tile. And again, these are going to do the same thing. And so, it, in theory, we're going to have our four panzer divisions pressing. The AI, the field marshals, the generals are in their own way going to try and push the other units through. And don't forget, even though we have set our units to attack very carefully... If you manually select a division and tell it to go and attack, 
it's going to go full aggressive until it's completed what you've asked it to do. And so you don't got to think, oh, well, the, the, the panzers are only being careful. They're not. If you manually control units and tell them to fight, they'll fight whether it's in their best interests or not. Hopefully the AI will help plug the gap then together with the Italians that are here. Now with this particular order being carried out, I want the same from this side. Uh, we've got a motorized division here, we've got a panzer here, we've got another panzer here. And so I'm going to bring these across to this tile. And we will get them pushing in here. Now I would like to push there, but I'm thinking we can perhaps get a slightly bigger encirclement if we go from this tile. So I'm going to select here, one, two, and again meeting up where these guys are and it was at this particular spot here at Calise. so that's the plan right that's now sorted we see we've got another panzer division here so i'm going to get this guy to help out as well and so right click there and then there 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 okay so there's a couple of other things to do with encirclements that are going to be of benefit before we unpause okay this is absolutely crucial to understand once, if we were to unpause right now and let this unfold, the AI would begin to realize, hang on, we're pressing here particularly hard, we're pressing here particularly hard. And so th there's every chance that the AI is going to send some of these divisions over to reinforce, okay? In order to help prevent the AI from reinforcing a certain position, what you need to do is tie those units down, yeah? So in other words, if we have a division here enemy division over there if we start fighting with that enemy division over there it makes it very difficult for them to then move away and try and help someone reinforce somewhere else and so that's what we're going to do so even though this infantry unit we're not using it to try and break on through what we are going to do is use this infantry unit to try and tie up this particular uh, tile here where there's at least two uh, other infantry units as well as a cavalry uh, so I think what I'm going to do is set this guy attacking. We've also got two motorized here. I think I'm going to stick one of those in as well just to give this guy a bit of a better chance. And this other motorized division, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get this particular tile. And again, we're not necessarily trying to win with these guys. We're just trying to tie down enemy forces. Now we've got the same story here. We've got three divisions, so I'm just going to split these up. So one division there, uh, one division there, and then this division uh, uh, down here like thus. Uh, we've got three more infantry there, so let's just split these up in the similar sort of a manner. And again, once they've done what you've asked them to do, then they'll go back to whatever the general or the AI that is controlling them on your behalf would ask them to do. You know, and if they're asking them to do something and you give them your own order, they will, of course, take your orders first and then their orders second. All right, this infantry unit here, again, just trying to tie some of these down. We're going to do the same over here. The exact term that you'll hear a lot of players using is pinning. Uh, so we're going to try and pin the unit down or pin the division down. So that's what's going on here. You can see here we've got... This particular guy here is walking this way. If the game weren't paused, you'd see him moving this way. And so he's clearly going to reinforce this particular tile that we've already decided we're going to attack through that way. And we've got a motorized division here. I'm going to also use that to try and help pin um, and then move this way just in case these do break through first to help the panzers push through. And again, these infantry guys here, same thing. Uh, so one division here to help pin. Uh, one division here to help pin, and one division over here to help pin the Panzers. And we've got two uh, German divisions here. We've got one infantry and one special forces. These will pin the opposing infantry and special forces. We've got uh, infantry here, which we'll use to pin, and we'll leave the rest as is. And so what I'm going to do is slow time down fully. Um, let's just make sure that we do have our air engaged. So I'm just, these fighters, let's just give them over to uh, Rommel. So let's unpause. And we're going on the minimum speed. Poland and all the rest of it's begun. I've just got the Navy out on uh, strike over here. I've got the U-boats on a uh, convoy patrol. An air, you know, in the way that hopefully we don't get bombed too badly. Uh, so we can begin to see here what's happening. And so, crucially, this is what we 
uh, most interested in. If we take a little look here, I'll just pause it. We've been at war a few hours. We've got uh, four divisions in combat, 64 combat width out of 120. Importantly, two panzer divisions. We're still waiting for the other two to roll in position. That shouldn't be too long. And if we take a look over here, uh, not we do have one panzer division in reserve. It's not yet stuck in. Uh, that shouldn't be too long because you can see there's plenty of room within the combat width uh, for it to do so. Uh, we've got infantry here. And again, I'm just going to try and use... Uh, some more of these uh, infantry guys here to help pin. Now you see here where these guys, uh, they are actually winning, which I don't necessarily want them to win per se. I just want them to help pin the units down. But we are now starting to get a collection of panzers at this area. You see there the infantry is using, we're using three infantry units there if I pause. If we take a look here, these are our guys, and we're pinning down three enemy divisions. So while we've pinned these guys down, they cannot interfere with our panzer advance, which, as you see here, uh, we're only up against two divisions, one infantry, one cavalry, and look how many divisions. We've got four in the attack, including motorized and a panzer. We've got two more panzer divisions in reserve. I expect uh, they're not going to hold very much longer. And as soon as we break through, it's important we keep the panzers moving and not allow the enemy time to regroup. At the same time, this down here, we've got two divisions there. We're still waiting for the other two. And again, this is not a game, certainly if you're trying to do nice big encirclements that you can play at high speed. Clearly, there's always a risk with an encirclement that your guys get cut off round behind the enemy and then they can basically encircle you. So especially if you're against other players, this is a very, very risky strategy. I mean, even the AI can encircle you, don't get me wrong, but it, they tend not to do it so often. So if we pause here can actually see that the AI here, uh, or, or rather, we are losing versus the AI. Now, I'm not too concerned about this, that we are losing. You know, whether it takes 15 days, that would be great. If they can keep fighting for 15 days before they lose, because I know my panzers are going to break through here much quicker if we take a little look how long we're expecting that day. A couple of days. So if that's the case, great. Again, assuming we can fight that, once we've broken through, we'll be able to get to, let's just call it here. I'm just going to call it Kiels or Kelly. I don't know. Let's just say Kiels. If we can break through, we see down here, this is going to be very quick as well. Less than a day. Once we break through at high speed with our high speed panzers, all of these guys should be encircled, which is the plan. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, up to, I don't know, about 10 divisions potentially that basically you then kill for free. So I've unpaused again. We've been going, I think, about 24 hours at this point. See, this is battle's almost done. And you see there, the enemy is beginning to retreat. This up here says less than a day as well. We've got this guy stood here. I am just going to bring him through just to help try and resupply, uh, resupport. So here we go. I've just paused it there. We've got numerous broken through, and we've got three panzer divisions continuing to press. There's just one guy trying to defend. So we're going to carry on pushing here. We want these guys. Th this is my infantry now, my special forces. I'm going to get these guys just to chase up my panzers to help. So I Just so I've got guys in the right position, uh, should I need to reposition some and so look this polish guy is already retreating so the panzers you know with their orders they're going to continue going forwards over here now we have broken through we see that's been a success there and again selecting our panzers you see there's one division moving over we've got one motorized here so we've just him selected i'm also going to give him further orders again just to assist either breaking through or if, if the breakthrough goes well, to be in the right position to help provide uh, cover for, on our flanks. We've actually got a couple of British aircraft over here uh, assisting the Polish, which is interesting. Uh, but I don't, hopefully don't think it's going to be enough. So let's unpause again. So this one, and looks like that battle's almost won. And again, it's far easier to defeat enemy divisions if they haven't had time to basically... 
set up a defensive position, you know, dig foxholes and all the rest of it. So if they're on the run and they've run out of organization and you can just push them out the way, even though they're not defeated per se, they're just going to keep backing off and backing off and backing off, um, which is what you want. So let's unpause again. So the breakthrough here going very, very well. And again, if we take pause, we've got one motorized, one panzer division currently in the fight versus just one very disorganized Polish division. And we've got, you know, panzer divisions coming through to re reinforce all together. So this attack's gone very, very quickly. Now over here, again, it's not that I want to win this fight here. I just want to stop these guys being able to reinforce this position and to do that i pin them down by engaging them in combat again if they can defeat you very quickly and easily in combat clearly you ain't gonna pin them down very long either so it's a it, it's a balance between tying up in a fight that's gonna go on for a bit that you don't win instantly but nor that you lose ideally the ones you want to win instantly are your panzers because you want to, again, use them as a spear to cut this little bulge off to then tie around the net. All right, this infantry guy here, I'm just going to send him this way to help potentially tie this one up. The panzers are over there. How are we doing over here? Why are these guys not? Oh, they are still attacking. Great. We've got the motorized doing that. We've got one motorized division here. I'm going to send this motorized, the, the, the one motorized, hang on, where are we here? We've got an infantry division. I'm going to send this one going this way again, because this fight we are losing. One more division should help deal with that. We've got one infantry division over here. I'm going to use this to just help pin this cavalry division and then just assist like this and again they will move if they can and if not they will fight in that way just to help ensure that my flanks are covered a little better looks like these panzer guys are about to break through got a little bit of fuel issues so obviously you can't just keep pressing on through indefinitely um supplies not yet in the red but uh just there is a little bit of supply issue they should be crossing that river pretty quick there doesn't seem to be much to deal with we've got a couple of divisions here and again our special forces catching up as well how's this battle going it doesn't look like our panzer divisions are even in position yet we're just waiting for them to roll forward and so i'm just going to pick up the speed a little bit right pause there we go there we go so didn't really have to pick up speed at all we have broken through the lines notice here we've got this krakow position i'm going to get this special forces guy working on krakow our panzers that pushed through from the south from the czech republic were the first to get there but they've also met up here with these other guys so it's absolutely crucial now that i make sure that these guys that are currently encircled do not ever re-establish a connection with their main group here because as soon as they do they will get supplies through. So what I'm going to do, I'm not sure. I think this here, the, the connection is broken. It looks really, really close. So I just really want to make sure that I attack pretty quick. I don't want all the tan all the panzer divisions attacking. I'll have one going that way. And I'll have this division here going this way. And it would never hurt as well to have this. Inf yeah, that's it. That place there. Just to make sure that the gap a is there b remains and then c gets a little wider and then once that's happened uh, you know we can start tightening the noose and these guys will suffer a massive penalty so these encircled divisions here you could I, I don't know what the exact number is but it might as well be that you can defeat them twice as easily and and, and in some cases it's three or four times as easy just depends how long they've been encircled for what their supply an organization is like so here we are we've got these guys cut off uh, these panzers are almost there at Krakow and as soon as we've got that I'll tell you what we we'll use this infantry guy to help push we we'll use this guy here because this we do not want to lose this spot now so I'm getting these infantry guys to go there we, they can now, we can now get aggressive with this particular area because we are trying to 
finish them off, so to speak. But it's taken a while to get through to this crack out spot. So, yeah, once they are encircled, that is the time to begin collapsing the net. But making sure that they do not link up. Now, hopefully here, these divisions of ours, I mean, uh, everything where I can see looks green. And there we go. They have now widened the gap between the enemy forces. And again, the more divisions you have attacking from more different directions, the more the battle is going to go in your favor anyway. You know, it never hurts to, you know, if you've got room, if you've got combat width, just send a few more in. We've actually broke, we've actually divided the encirclement off here. And again, just selecting individual units, right click where to go, then holding shift. And I'm giving them future orders uh, using that method. And again, if you, if you want to delete, I've just paused again there. If you think, oh, I'm not really sure what's going on now, but, you know, I want to, let's just say, right, just right, just select the units in question, just right click without uh, holding shift, that'll clear out all the orders except the right click that you've just given, and then once again rebuild using shift and right clicking. And that's what I'm doing here to make absolutely sure that we get this. I'm just going to pick up pace just a little bit now because I think you get the idea. And then once this encirclement has completed. These guys have actually got forts here, uh, so we're doing pretty well. It's a good spot to encircle anyway. I'll tell you what, we'll bring this infantry guy down just to assist with this attack over here. May just use this panzer again, just see the Polish have already redrawn their lines there. Uh, so let's pick up time a little bit more. And again, the more that this battle goes on, the harder it's going to get for these enemy forces who find themselves cut off and surrounded. So what I'm going to do now is just pause. I'm going to very, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to very lazily select all the troops that are sort of around here. And I'm just going to right click once on the airbase and then hold shift or this tile and that tile like that. Then unpause and this just makes sure... You know, nobody was faffing around. Everybody's in the fight. And again, if I pause here, we can see now we've got a combat width of up to 200, which is absolutely insane. I mean, talk about an encirclement bonus and a half. Uh, currently, we've got three divisions in the fight, 50. We've got 18 divisions in reserve. So if I unpause, currently it's a three on three, but we do have ourselves a panzer division amongst that. If I unpause um, the these 18 in reserve, the enemy's got one in reserve, but I mean... That's not going to do them much well anyway. We have now defeated one of them. We're going to start getting more divisions in the fight pretty quick. Unless we win the fight first, we see it's going to go pretty quickly. So as we unpause, we've got four or five divisions. We've now got 12 divisions in the fight. Um, and at that point, uh, they lost the tile. We've already got five in this one. So again, let's unpause. Seven divisions. see there and the hats every time we see the hat pumping off there that is an enemy division that's been encircled taken out not only is this a very effective way to kill the enemy it's a very effective way to gain combat experience as well and once you've done that well you guessed it, it's rinse and repeat try again uh, or, or can do again don't forget the enemy uh, supply always comes from their capital so it's always worth um if you if you really want to be creative encircling the capital without capturing it that would kind of prevent anybody else getting supplies not always easy to do but certainly in a very effective method of ensuring that your enemy finds it very difficult to supply the front line all right i hope you found that tutorial useful and until next time wherever in the world you may be enjoy encircling divisions by the million and until next time take care bye bye see ya